Hey there guys, what's going on? Gail Wright here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Manchi Memoria Freeze video. And today, we have a little bit of an interesting video. We're going back into the Riveria Record Buster, but this time, we're not going to be making a team on our own. No, 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 no. The game is going to be making us one. Now, if you guys go on to enjoy this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, of course, it would be greatly appreciated. We're so close to 500 subs. It would be amazing if we can reach that amount sooner rather than later. Now, of course, comment down below as well. How have you guys been faring in Record Buster yourselves? I'm curious to see what you guys have been up to in the mode. Now, like I said, the game is going to be making our team for today. Now, for those of you who don't know, recently in the latest update for Don Machi, they added a feature called Auto Party Set, basically. So it's as it says on the can, basically, the game will make your team for you. Now, of course, the game, the game's decision to make a team will probably end up in it being worse than what I made, to be quite honest. But we're just going to have a little bit of fun and see how close we can get to my score of 1.18 billion uh, with the team that they give me. Now, of course, I'm going to be setting up the equipment and stuff like that. I know there's auto equip as well, but we're not going that far just yet, okay? I'm just going to make the party based on what the game gives me and then we'll auto, we'll not auto equip. We will put the equip on the characters accordingly. Okay, so let's click start. I have three plays, three attempts. I've been doing a lot of attempts here and there. Obviously, yesterday's video, which you can go check out, was part of those two attempts. Um, okay, so I'm not going to waste that team. I'm going to use this slot. We only get three slots in uh, Record Buster. I feel like we should at least get one more if possible. Uh, or if not, we should get at least another... We should get the seven we get anyways, right? Because Record Buster changes elements every week, basically, or every time it comes around. So may as well allow us to change our teams consistently or keep like seven teams ready. I know we have the save and load feature, but still. Um, either way, that's besides the point. That is besides the point, okay? Um, so let's click auto set. Now, the one thing I wanna focus on is they've given us a lot of priority options, right? We can also change equipment and stuff like that. And uh, it'll auto set equip as well, but we're gonna focus on unit equips. We're just gonna change the units. We're not gonna change equipment or anything of that sort. We'll just go straight for it. So obviously because we're going into record buster, right? We're going to need to go for, I'm going to keep power because there is no reason for us to go P attack power or M attack power. Because if you guys don't know, in Record Buster right now, the physical and magic resistances are both 0%. There is no advantage for one or the other. The only thing we want to look at is Thunder and we want to go for Attack Foe because, well, that's the whole idea, right? So we're going to go for uh, Thunder and Attack Foe and we're not going to add any killer because there's no point of a killer. And let's just change. Let's see what they give us. Oh, uh, oh, uh, that's not what I was expecting, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no, this team is actually a lot worse than I thought it was. I'm not gonna lie. This team is a lot worse than I thought it was. Oh, boy, what assists have they given me as well? Okay, I mean, I see some of the, the fr first three assists are good. What are the other three assists here for? Um, okay, okay, because the thing is, Alf is... Okay, he reduces STR and Madge on when he's attacked, so it can be kind of decent. What are you doing here? You, I know you increase SGR and Mage on self, but you also have like Earth Attack and Light Attack damage. That doesn't make... I mean, God Raid Down is going to be helpful. Um, Hestia, why are you here? Your Fire Res Down. Oh God, this is going to be... Uh, this is not going to be great. This is not going to be great. Um, we do have this Lily who is a single target unit. A pretty decent one. Um, what, what, what do you do again, Gareth? Uh, you, you are a single target one as well. Mid thunder physical attack, thunder res, uh, minus 40%. Self thunder attack damage, STR and match. Okay, this can, can be useful. Oh boy, this is going to be very tricky. I must admit, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, this one gives allies attack and then we can get P res down. Do I have any more uh, dupes in this? No, I'm going to have to unlock it. Let me, let me just unlock this. Let me see. Or let me level her up, I should say. Oh boy. Oh, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be difficult. I, I'm just trying to think the way we should go about this. <laughs> this this Shakti is old, by the way. This Shakti is old. She doesn't do anything. She was great at one point. She was actually fantastic for Riveria, but now I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna level up uh, this Tione as well. Uh, let me just do that one second. There we go. And uh, limit break. I don't have any deep center either. Th this is the this is the reason why I don't run thunder. By the way, <laughs> you, you guys might be wondering, like, why don't you just run thunder? You should have thunder units, right? You've been playing this game for five years. 
but no the thing is with how i summon sometimes more often than not i feel i've skipped thunder earth and wind the most i think fire water dark and light are my most commonly summoned units i feel fire and water more so dark and uh, dark and wind, uh, light come afterwards and then thunder earth and wind are just horrendous for me i mean i guess i have to take this one did they change the oh they've changed the memoria as well okay that's cool actually i didn't know if they would change the memoria um i guess you have to take this team i mean we're gonna see how it goes i'm gonna see how it goes i'm gonna see what i can do with it in all honesty uh like i said this is a little bit of fun this is not something we're gonna uh do regularly i just wanted to try this out and see for myself how it goes um do i not have a yeah there we go i'm not even upgraded lily's weapon to like its max potential um i'm gonna put on stun anklets actually as well uh we need stun anklets for sure uh let's put stun anklets on you um shakti um <laughs> i can't believe i have shakti out of all the units bro do i have another shakti that i had the, her weapon on maybe and hence why i can't see it where is it two thousand years later it's better um i'm surprised we didn't pick up some uh, i guess it's because we were we didn't pick up any aoe units right I'm going to do Thunder and Attack Foes. I want to see what it does there. Um, if I have to change settings, I will change settings. That's fine. Okay, so it gives me this team. What I'm going to do is... It, it's given me a very similar team as well, to be fair. Um, and they've gone for a lot of Attack Foes one as well, which is fair. But we'll run with this team. I'm curious to see how this team fares, actually. Now, now, now that I'm looking at it, I want to see how this team fares. Um, I'm going to give uh, Fencer Loretta again. And we're going to go with... Uh, uh, this, Stun Anklet... Okay, I have an idea though. I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna put Helga as my main offensive unit. Actually, I'll put Helga, Asfi, uh, and uh, Fia, and uh, what's his name again? I don't remember your name. I keep for uh, Alf, Alfric, Alfric. I was close. I was close with Alf, Alf, <laughs> uh, because I know he's a uh, uh, Alf successor. I'm gonna switch this around because she's a free-to-play unit. I don't know why she's still running around with this. Okay, and we're gonna give you the P amulet there. There we go, and we'll give uh, Cassandra. The P amulet as well. We'll give uh, we'll give her a uh, revolving amulet as well. We'll just give her the uh, uh, we'll give her raise one for now. We'll give her raise one for now. And now I can just go out and just give these guys their uh, art of, uh, ornaments um, and make sure we can do this. But yeah, I don't. I want to make this a little bit more fun. I don't want it to be just like oh we're gonna lose again because you know we've taken units that we don't want to. I want to compare it to diff seven to be honest. So this is gonna be us trying that out. We'll see how it goes. I'm not too confident to be quite honest. But hey, you never know, man. You never know. We might win. We might actually do something benefit beneficial with this team. So let's see. But yes, um, no, we not we don't want seal anklet. We want stun anklet. There we go. So this is the team we've been given. It's an attack foes, attack uh, foe kind of team. More so attack foes because we we just seems like we have more of a team there. We have a lot of re resistance downs. We have a lot. We have a couple of AOEs as well. But let's see how it goes. I'm curious to see how this is gonna fare. Um, of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, once again, I uh, would appreciate a like button. Uh, you guys hitting the like button. But let's get into the game and see what we can do here now. All right, Div Seven. Uh, let's switch off auto battle and see for ourselves what we can do. Now, the one worry I have is that we are going to be going up against a unit that basically. I don't know if we can debuff her, but let's see, let's see. The thing is as well, because we're running thunder units, we have an inherent uh, resistance to water attacks, so that's at least something good, right? Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure about like, in terms of the, uh, what's it called? Um, the resistance downs and stuff. Let's see, let's see what we can do here. So, we want to do this. We will do that and then we can do let's see do we have anything here uh okay we can do that L we've reduced her magic and stuff and my only concern is i don't think i have any units that will extend any of this so we're gonna take a little bit of a hit here i'm hoping that the, we have units that can help us we don't have any units that can help us heal now that i'm thinking about it oh boy uh let's do this let's do that let's do bold triangle here do this and then do this there we go we're gonna have to make sure we're continuously getting her resistance down somehow, some way. But the thing is, yeah, I mean, uh, Asfi's already taking a lot of damage there. She's taking a thousand HP there already. If I had somebody who could uh, re restore HP, that would be something that would help actually tremendously. But we don't. We do not have any of that, unfortunately. Let's see. Do you do anything that we can get help from? 
I think I'm gonna have to rely on Sunrise Call a lot here, in all honesty, especially once we get to turn 4, because on turn 4, for those of you who don't know, um, Asfi has this, uh, Asfi, I mean, Riveria has this ability, ooh, I mean, Alps, uh, SCR and Magic Downs are done now, so there's no point in me worrying about that anymore. Um, the one thing to note about, uh, Riveria is that on turn 4, she's able to basically, um, She's able to basically increase her um, at magic ability, uh, so she's gonna start hitting very hard um, later on. Of course, we're dealing a lot of damage here, which is very, very nice, but we're gonna have to rebuff everybody and, like, look at that. I mean, we've already taken a lot of damage and we have no HP healers um, in our team, so this is gonna be a little bit of a problem here. I wonder how much damage we'll take here. Wow, okay, so th that, that lasted long. <laughs> I knew this was gonna this, this was not gonna work out the way I thought it was but hey I mean hey this is the idea of trying it out and this is somewhat of a, a way to show you guys as well when you're playing an early game maybe it's fine to run an auto team but once you start getting to diff 6 diff 7 um, even diff 5 I would say actually diff 5 is where you should probably start making your own teams in all honesty Probably Div 4, I would say, as well, potentially, but I would say more so Div 5. Um, I could probably survive like this, but I'm running out of MP, so there's just no way I'm going to survive anymore, because I'm going to run out of MP, and I'm not going to be able to attack anymore. So, I mean, I'm surprised I got to turn 8, I'm not going to lie. Loki, I'm surprised I got to turn 8. Seeing that team, automatically you can tell that it's got, got a lot of issues, because the idea of... Um, when you're team building in Record Buster, I've got a guide on uh, how to build a team in Record Buster, right? Uh, you guys can go uh, check it out. It's a very, very uh, useful guide in my personal opinion because the thing is, when you're building a team in Record Buster, right? The idea is your adventures need to sync up with each other. They shouldn't override each other necessarily. Like the biggest issue with this team is a lot of them did very similar things. Like if you looked at uh, Asfi, right? She also had the ability to reduce P-Res and uh, Helga has one as well. Then you have a unit that can increase P-Res and M-Res. But the thing is, you don't have a unit to basically um, extend those buffs and debuffs as well, right? And that's the whole idea is you want to make sure you're extending those debuffs on Riveria. If, uh, for example, we um, um, uh, we uh, hit her with the minus 25% strength and magic down with, uh, you know, we, we, uh, we had that on Cassandra. And then we had Daphne coming in to give us the M-Res and P-Res. Theoretically, we probably would have survived, in all honesty, but that didn't happen because we just didn't have the units to kind of extend those debuffs or extend the buffs that we have and ensure that we can keep going, basically. So that's the idea. I mean, we still got a score of what? What is this? 150 million? 1, 2, 3. Uh, so 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 9 million, 49 million, 149 million. So we, got, we still got a score of 149 million. Goes to show that if you can even survive till turn 9 in um, that sort of difficulty, you can make it there. And I mean, that would give you an easy, like, top 7 position in my group. 149 million would put, put you above this Suo Taku guy, if I'm not mistaken, because he's got 114 million, right? Um, if, I'm, if I'm looking right, one second, 1, 2, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 4, uh, 11, but yeah, you would be in, you would be in seventh position right now on the leaderboard in the top 5,000. The idea is to end up in the top 5,000, in my personal opinion, at bare minimum, because if you look at your rank rewards, right, you get 500 iris. That's a, basically a little bit more than a multi already for being in the top 5,000. And you don't have to do much. You literally just have to play the game. Literally. Like, look at this. People in the it, people with zero points are in the top 5,000. Of course, more people start playing Record Buster towards the end. So you're going to see people just dropping off, getting into the top 10,000 10, 10, with a score of zero. So bear that in mind. Bear that in mind. It's not like, oh, it's, it, it's oh, easy top 5,000. Everybody gets it. No, no, no. That's not the case. People start doing their runs later in the week uh, or as close to the end of the runs as possible. So bear that in mind. But even still, like you should be able to get top 5,000 very, very easily. Um, but there you guys go. That's my uh, run with a auto set team. Didn't really go to plan. We spent more time setting up the team and giving them equips than actually doing the event. But it goes to show like you can get a very high score by just doing div 7 and getting to at least turn 6, turn 7. Getting 100 million and stopping right there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, appreciate all the likes you guys can give. Subscri subscribe. We're getting close to 500. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.